Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number two off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a parade starts at 11.30 and 2.18. How long did this parade last? All right, so when we are measuring time, that becomes tricky. Let's get out our graph draw feature. We're going to expand it out using the two diagonal arrows in the top right-hand corner. And I always like to make it a little bit more transparent so I can see what I'm doing kind of behind there. But the grids are there if I need them. All right, and so we're going to use this draw feature and the connect feature. So I'm going to use a timeline. So a connected line, that's how I'm going to start. So I'm just going to kind of start on the left, drag it all the way over here to the right, and then lift it up. I'm not sure how long my uh, timeline is going to be, but let's start with right here. Okay, so I'm going to start with, and I'll kind of switch colors so we can kind of see, uh, 11.30. That's our starting point. Oh, and I left, you know what, I left the connected line on. Let's get the draw on. Unfortunately, on this particular tool for the online star test, there is no eraser or undo button. So if I don't like this right here, I've just got to reset and start all over. So I'll be fine. All right, so we're going to start with 11.30. And what we're going to do is we're going to make jumps. Uh, until we get to the next hour. Then we're going to jump an hour at a time because we're trying to get from this 11.30 to, to 2.18, right? If it were 11.30 to 2.30, this would be a simple problem. But I find this timeline to be a lot more useful than trying to use, uh, you know, drawing an analog clock just because the hours kind of get tricky, right? So I want to make a jump, and I want to make a jump to, you know, my next full hour. So my next full hour is going to be noon, right? So I need to know that I'm assuming, yeah, it's noon. So I'm going to need to go from 11.30 to 12. Now here's the tricky part. I need to know how big this jump is, okay? So on this one, maybe I do want an analog clock just to kind of help me so I can go ahead and draw that, but I need to know how, know how big that jump is, right? So if I'm going to go 12, 6, three, nine, I always do it like that to kind of make sure they're spaced out correctly. All right, so I'm going to draw uh, 1130. So the hour hand isn't at 11, it's like halfway between 11 and 12. Okay, so how many minutes is it from 1130 to 12? Okay, this is where I can do my uh, my jumps, right? So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, so 30 minutes. So that's going to be important for me to know is that this is 30 minutes. After that, it gets pretty easy. We're going to take, uh, we're going to jump hours. So if that's 30 minutes, right, an hour is going to be a big jump like this. And then I need to go ahead and label it here. Big jump. I'm going to jump one hour at a time. So that's going to get me to 1 o'clock. I don't need my analog clock to figure that one out. I'm going to take another jump. Big jump. Oh, not sure if those are evenly spaced, but that's fine. We get the picture. But see, look, now I'm at 2 o'clock. And I just need another little tiny jump. So look, I've got 30 minutes, an hour, and an hour. I need to make a little tiny jump to get to my minutes. My hour is fine at 2. I need 2.15 or 2.18, excuse me. So I'll just kind of do like that. Little tiny jump. This is 18 minutes. And I'm finally at my stopping point. So then I just add up my hours. One hour, two hours. And I have my minutes, 30 and 18. That's 48 minutes. And there we go. My answer here is A.